There was an idea to bring together a group of remarkable people to see if we could become something more. So when they needed us, we could fight the battles. They never could. The end is near. Avengers Infinity War. What is going on guys? Quarantine coming at you with another Avengers Infinity War vlog. Well, the very first ever vlog of Avengers Infinity War. So how you guys doing myself today? We're off to go see Avengers Infinity War. Got Bird in the back. My girlfriend in the, in the passenger seat. I just wanted to give a little video out of like saying like what I'm excited for. I'm excited for Spider-Man, Iron Man, Thanos, all the cool stuff to come around in the film. I hope the film is as good as what I've been saying it is because honestly, I don't think I could take disappointment after all the hype I've been feeling up for this movie for months. And with Deadpool 2 around the corner, this better be good. If it's not as good as Deadpool 2 when it comes out, well then you already know my verdict. So we're on our way. Three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. First off, I wanted to say that, um, no spoilers is what I'm going to say right now before we get into the review half of the video, but I'm going to say this movie, just because of the ending will fuck with you super bad. Like, that's all I got to say. Like, I went into that movie with Bird and everybody so excited so hyped and then we come home and we're just nothing but upset I, it got to the point where uh i had a migraine because of how fucking upset i was it's fantastic just saying random before we went to the review um i just thought i'd give the uh video out regarding uh how i came out of it just like how i did a long time ago with uh Civil War and all that, so yeah, um, let's go ahead and get into the review. So it's the next day after seeing Infinity War on Saturday. Um, the movie originally debuted on, let's just say for reference, today is the 29th, and yesterday was the 28th. Um, and the original day that the movie officially came out was the 27th, so that was on Friday. It's the next day. I'm by myself. Um, I would do this review with my girlfriend, but she had work, so I have to do it myself before I go to work myself later tonight. So I thought I'd get it out the way right off the bat. I was spending all night and all day yesterday just thinking about how um, the director of the Infinity War did his part in the film by making it the way it is. Now, that's not needless to say that the film was horrible. It wasn't horrible. And this is actually the first time I'm breaking silence since I saw it because all that happened to me when I uh, posted that I was going to go see it um, on my Facebook and whatnot, uh, people were just waiting for me to like give them a reaction, and I didn't. I didn't give anybody anything. For the longest time yesterday, I didn't give anybody any, any information, how I was feeling, um, what I thought about it. I just told them, I've got nothing to say. That was my honest, uh, my honest answer to them every single time they asked. I absolutely love this movie. It was fantastic. The best Marvel movie I've seen by far overall. Like, it beat Black Panther. Like, Black Panther was standing at the top of my list of the best. But now, this one has just destroyed, you know, any, any chance of me thinking that any Marvel movie in the MCU could possibly top this. It was fantastic. The cinematography was amazing. The videography was just phenomenal. The casting was just as good acting. Also very good. Sound effects... And the visual effects and VFX and everything involved the whole entire film overall was actually 100% uh, fantastic. However, there were some flaws that I did realize that I didn't really understand, considering the fact that some pieces that Thanos actually put out there was actually very confusing, given the fact that he was so, it was told in a bunch of movies involving Guardians of the Galaxy that he didn't really care for his daughters as much, that he just pretty much just used them as, like, slaves or iron runners and stuff like that, you know? They, he just used them. Um... To see him to be more emotionally attached to one such as Gamora. And it was just mind-blowing to think about. 
But the thing is, is like, I'm not going to spoil anything. I'll just talk about, you know, things that won't necessarily entirely spoil or barely even spoil it at all. I'm just going to talk about the concept behind the entire film overall is just, it hits you hard. It hits you hard. It hits you very hard. It's just, there's like, there's like jokes going on saying that right after you see Infinity War, you might as well start up a therapy session right afterwards because you're going to need it right afterwards. I finally understand exactly when those people were saying and why they said it. If you want to find out for yourself, go to your nearest theater and go find out for yourself. Um, but it's a fact like if you really, if you think that you're going to go in there being like this uh, at first when the, when the, like, you know, the title sequence of Marvel Studios comes up, you're wrong. You're horribly wrong. You're not going to just walk in there and then come out and doing, no, it's not going to happen. You just, you're not walking out of there with a smiling face. It's not happening. It's not happening. That's all I'm going to say right now. You're not getting that at all. <laughs> but the first Avengers was so good. Everybody loved it. It was the number one watched movie in America. Like, I was in high school and I watched this movie in like seven different classes. And it was so cool because then we had this, like, I think it was a senior day. And I don't remember what it was exactly. Pretty much my entire class of uh, 20, 2014 uh, all got together in this auditorium where we had all of our uh, plays and choir concerts and whatnot. And we put the big projectile screen in there and we all watched the first Avengers movie. And it was pretty fucking sick towards the end of the semester and school year. And it was, it was, it was amazing. I liked it. But we've already watched this movie, like, so many times in the theaters already. And we've already seen it in the classrooms and stuff like that because it's the most appropriated action-packed film with the comic book superheroes and they can't say it's too violent so they they allowed it to be an actual film we could watch in class i was so happy with the first avengers because it was the first time all of them assembled and then i heard that they were making a second one now this one was intriguing because i didn't really remember much about ultron's comics until eventually the age of ultron avengers movie came out and I was so curious because it was so creepy, the first trailer, a freaking um, Iron Man suit, robot drone, something like that, comes out of the shadows and starts talking and his name is Ultron. And then he upgrades and becomes this really scary freaking robot and he has red eyes and he does a quote from Pinocchio. There are no strings on me. There are no strings on me. I got so scared, but intrigued and interested, you know, it was just a giant pile of interest for me when I saw that. Because I really wanted to know how they were going to go about making Ultron look, and how he was going to portray himself as a villain against the Avengers. Because next to Thanos, Ultron in the comics tends to be the most um, threatening to all of them. And then, now we're in the present. We have Civil War. I mean, uh, we have Infinity War. And this movie is just such a giant roller coaster of emotions because you don't expect half the things that happen, happen. It's so ironic. Iron Man plays the, uh, Tony Stark, aka Robert Downey Jr. Still the greatest Iron Man I've ever seen in my life. Captain America, Chris Evans, still being the best Captain America in the world. Jesus, uh, uh, Chris Evans. Uh, it, 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 uh, uh, it's just a matter of when I watch this film. I was nothing but entertained. It was fantastic. I was just ex I was on edge the whole entire time, and it's been a long time since I've been on the edge with a Marvel movie like that. And Jesus, this movie did not shy away from surprising me through the entire moments of, you know, being a, a, a Marvel fan. You know, it was crazy. However, it's a matter of the way that the director ended the entire movie is what really upset me because I wanted more. I wanted more. It's like, you know, they said that originally they were going to be having part one and two together, but they just couldn't, and they had to break it down into two parts. Upset me because it's like, even if it lasted for a couple more hours, I still would have sat there and watched it. But I guess, you know, I guess we have different views on things, Marvel, don't we? But the fact is, is um, they were originally supposed to, they said they wanted to make it a full movie, but they couldn't, so they didn't. So they made it a two part, and then it, in order to make the two part, they they wanted us reason to introduce Captain Marvel into the mix because it's been rumored and speculated, and there's been pictures of Captain Marvel's new suit and stuff like that, and they needed a way to introduce her to the into the Marvel universe somehow. 
So they're pretty much doing a whole giant thing like how um, Captain America, uh, the first Avenger, was announced when they had Iron Man 1 and the Incredible Hulk and Iron Man 2 come out. They were trying to show that, hey, we're bringing Captain America into the mix, but we have to probably go back into the past to show that. We have to give him like a little origin story so we can bring him in there. And that's what they did, and it worked. It was very well done, the first Avenger. And now they're doing the exact same thing with Captain Marvel. It take place way before Infinity War and way before the first Avengers movie even came out. This is going to take place back when Nick Fury was just introduced to S.H.I.E.L.D. and meets um, Captain Marvel and recruits her and she's eventually going to show up in the next Avengers movie. And, you know, honestly, it's like a part of me is upset because it's like, you know, I still want more. I want another movie that intertwines with Infinity War. But, you know, that's probably not what's, that's probably not going to happen. It's not going to happen at all. And another thing I think is what's going to happen is fact like with the fact of how Infinity War ended, maybe we're not going to see sequels for a while until the second part comes out, which isn't until next May. And honestly, that hurts me. It's like, you know, we have to wait a whole nother year just to see the next Avengers movie, and I'm not happy about it. So it's like, Marvel, you better have a bunch of movies lined up on your calendar in the MCU leading up to Infinity War set up in the time being because if you do not have at least five or four films set up in that time frame before the next year of infinity war part two you're gonna have a problem because you've already you already hurt your fans enough you don't need to do it no more like we're done here it's time to stop being a little dc bullshit let's let's start getting these movies moving you know that's that's just the end of it that's how it's got to go well, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you liked Infinity War, if you hated it, leave in the comments below. What did you like about it? What did you hate about it? What do you think could have been better about it? Do you think anything that I talked about was accurate? I don't know. You know, just leave in the comments below and we'll talk about it later. But thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.